Hey everyone, I'm Rob from Staking Facilities and in this quick tutorial I would like to run you through a process of how you can stake your SOL token by just using the SOLVLAYER web interface. I'd like to start out by thanking the team over at Doclear Capital for building SOLVLAYER. It makes staking in Solana so much easier and um, really helps the overall ecosystem, so thank you for, for doing that. Um, again, in this video we will focus on the key store version. It's not as secure as the ledger, as using a Ledger Nano S. We also created another tutorial about how to, to um, set up everything with your ledger. And I would always recommend using a ledger over a key store file. It's just mo way more secure. But in case you don't have a ledger and really want to get uh, going and staking, you can do so by using the key store um, yeah, version. So to get started, visit solfair.com. And then since we're a first time user, we need to create a wallet. So let's hit create wallet. And then um, we choose using key store file. And then hit next. And now it's really important that you choose a very strong password because the password um, is used to encrypt your private key into a key store file. And key store file holds an encrypted version of your private key and the public key. So whenever you do perform any action on this account, you, would, you will need your password and the key store file. So make sure to use a very strong password. Um, just already prepared a strong one. Which I'm not going to share with you, I'm th sorry. I hope I typed it in. Right, you can hit uh, get a raw private key, then you get both um, um, both files. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it unchecked, no need for it really. And then you can hit next, and now um, you need to download the key store file here. They 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 warn you that you need to store it securely, um, if possible, store it on an eternal device. Um, again, using a ledger would be way more secure, but uh, now we can help it. We're just going to proceed. Now hit, uh, I understand if I lose my file, I won't be able to access my wallet. It's good that you give you, that they give you this warning because if you lose this file, you have a big problem. So hit download and it will automatically save it to your downloads folder. You can, from there you can move it any way you want. I'm just going to leave it there for the sake of this tutorial and hit next. Now you need to upload your key store file. Again, it's stored in, in downloads. So this um, info here you should never share with anyone. Um, since this is only a test tutorial and test account, um, it's not as bad, but make sure to not share this with anyone. So you open it up. Keystore file verified, then you need to finish it. And then you need to start this process over one more time. So hit access again, punch in your password. And upload it again. There we go. And now you can access your wallet. And there you are. That's the main wallet interface where you see your address, your balance, um, transaction history. Not much going on, obviously, because we just created it. And um, you can switch between networks, so you could interact with the DevNet or mainnet. We will stick to the mainnet. Um, what's pretty cool, you can also switch between dark mode and light mode whatever floats your boat. I'm just going to stick with the light mode. Um, yeah, we have your staking section, which we get to in just a minute. Um, but for now, we first of all need to fund our wallet. So copy this address and withdraw to it from wherever you bought your SOL token. All right, once your funds have arrived, you're ready for the next step, which is to create a stake account. Staking in Solana works a little bit different. So if you want to find out how exactly, I will uh, link um, the Solana docs down below, as well as a video that we did about how staking works in Solana. Make sure to check it out if you want to, to find out how or understand how staking works in Solana. But for now, um, to get started, just scroll down to the very bottom and hit get started. And now you need to move some funds over from your wallet account. This is the account that we just created using the key store file to your um, stake account. Um, make sure to not move all of your funds because you still need some funds left to pay for transaction fees. So 
since my account holds three sol, I'm just going to move over 2.5 sol. Um, transaction fees in Solana are really, really cheap, so 0.5 sol should be enough to, to cover a bunch of transaction fees. Um, hit next. Now you need to enter your password again. Then hit submit. Now you see that it's confirming the transactions. Mm. And once this is done, you will see the stake account that you just created. There we are. Account created and funds deposited. This is my staking account now, which I can see if I go over to staking. I can see the account. I can see the balance. And I can see that it's uh, currently not delegated. So it's time to, to, to change that. This balance here, <coughs> sorry, always refers to your wallet address, so to the address over here. Whereas this balance over he down here always refers to your staking account. The staking account performs actions on, on, on behalf of your wallet account. But again, if you want to get into this, check out the video or the docs down below. Now, if I want to, to, to delegate, which I want to do, I just simply hit delegate now in the staking um, section of, the, of Solflare. And then I can um, select the validator. There's a bunch of great validators supporting um, Solana, such as Course One, Docker Capital, Staking Facilities, Certus One, and a bunch of others. I'm kind of biased here, so I'm just going to go with Staking Facilities. Hit Next. Then again, I have to enter my password. And as annoying as it might seem, make sure to choose a strong password. I cannot stress this enough. Submit. And now we see it's confirming. Transaction completed. Awesome. And now we can see the status that it's currently not delegated. Um, this will change as soon as we start a new epoch. Um, then part of my stake will, will, will be delegated. It's now activating and the new epoch starts in about 39 minutes or 15 minutes. Um, you can always check this on Solana Beach. And then part of my stake will be contributing to the Solana security. And once inflation is enabled, I or you will then also start earning staking rewards. Um, again, this is it. Thank you very much, Dokel Capital, for building Solflare. If you have any questions, um, feel free to comment down below or reach out to us via our Telegram channel. I will also link it down below. And yeah, that's it from my side. Happy staking and thanks for watching.